Hello, stranger. It's been a minute since we last kicked it. By the way. So right now I am starting my um, lab value studying. So it is December the 20th, I think. What's the day? My day is, no, it's the 19th. So we start school on the 17th and there are a few things that we're responsible for knowing by the time we start school. Um, these are actually, we have to know these actually by Valentine's Day, but I'm going ahead and getting a head start. Um, and so I've locked out time for me to study this every morning, for me to study a different section every morning. And then in the evenings, I come home and study for like 30 to 45 minutes, study my equivalencies and um, uh, goodness, I can't even think of the word, abbreviations. So today, I don't really have a lot to do. It's just five flashcards that I'm going to make and study. So I'm just making the common lab values for um, the cardiovascular system. So I'm just gonna go in here. I looked all this up last night so I would know. Uh, what? So how I'm going to do it is, so I just have to know my white blood cell count, red blood cell count, platelet counts, and then hematocrit and hemoglobin. Yeah. All right. So we'll start and I'll go in alphabetical order. So hematocrit. So I'll just write hematocrit on it. Well, I'll show you guys in just a second. Hematocrit and then the abbreviation there. And I'm also going to write the page I can find it on. So what I did is I just have white blood cell count. It's a little crooked, but whatever. Um, so I just have white blood cell count, the abbreviation, so WBC, and then the page number, page 466. So I'm going to go to page 466 in my textbook. Okay, so let's 
So we are responsible for knowing normal adult findings. So So I'm going to put here adult slash child greater than two years is going to be 5,000 to 10,000 per millimeters cubed or Five to ten, just another way of it written. Uh, five to ten times ten to the ninth per liter. So this is how the note card will look. So let's see, can you guys see that? Okay, so here, like I said on the front, we just have white blood cell count, the abbreviation WBC, and where I can find it. So page 466 in my textbook. And then on the back, I just have the normal adult findings, which are gonna be children greater than two years old and everyone above that, of course. And it's gonna be five to 10,000 per millimeter cubed or five to 10 times 10 to the ninth per liter. So yeah, so that's all I'm going to do for each one. Um, I'm also going to read the <clears throat> read over the critical values. Um, I may include that on my flashcards. I'm not sure yet. Um, but I'm definitely going to at least read over it and then read over the indications of each, uh, each lab value. All right, so now I am just going to take about 30 minutes to look over these and practice, and then I'm going to get ready for work. Okay, so I'm over here taking a walk with Gracie, and she's pulling me in every direction, but I'm at my parents' house just chilling before Christmas, I'm waiting on my older sister. Uh, Gracie, let's go. I'm waiting on my older sister to get here so that we could chill it was like me and my mama had to talk to her about something funny that happened today but she is taking forever and she was just at target like target is literally like 10 minutes from my house so i don't know what is taking her so long but it's cold my fingers are about to freeze off so i'm about to put my phone back up focus on this little walk and go back inside because mm -mm, i don't do this Mom and dad were looking for the perfect gift for y'all, and this fit because it is what y'all do when y'all get together. <laughs> is the cocktail making?
decided that I would get myself one thing that I really had been wanting um, because I felt like I made a lot of progress toward a lot of my goals um, this year. And I'm just doing one thing for myself. Um, yeah. So I like, didn't do anything for my birthday this year, really. Um, yeah. So I am, well, currently the house to go find you know something or just go look around i may not get anything i may end up just getting something online but right this second i'm actually headed to my parents house um to pick up some things and chit chat really because i have nothing to do honestly like, i'm really bored and i've been in the house i did a little bit of studying this morning i did some work for my mom and so I've just been like trying to find me something to do. So y'all, I actually didn't even go um, like shopping today. I was so sleepy when I left my mom's house. So I went home, finished doing some work and took a nap to like five. And I just left. I'm actually coming down. It seems like my sinuses are flaring back up, but Ooh. Ooh, this is not good. Oh, I don't like that. But anyways, y'all, so I went to I went out. I stopped by Dillard's because of course the New Year's sale is coming up. But I don't know if they've been doing it this year, but it's supposed to be coming up. So I went to just see if they had anything. I saw one bag, but I think I may end up not getting that bag because I think I want to get a Prada bag. So, it's very similar. So, I'm just going to do that probably. And I went to TJ Maxx. Uh, my whole reason for even leaving the house was to go get some stuff to make this feta pasta. Um, because I took out some lamb chops, so I'm just going to do some seared lamb chops and some feta pasta. Like I'm so excited. I've been thinking about it for like a couple weeks and my um okay y'all so i know i'm saying um a lot i'm telling the story completely out of order but y'all for whatever reason when i first wake up my brain doesn't work basically and i was just still in the mindset of like just getting out of my nap and so like i just could not cohesively tell this story for whatever reason i was like before i stopped by the store I'll just go to, um, go buy a few other stores. So I went to Dillard's, then I went to TJ Maxx, and I ran into my dad. So I was talking to him, and then I just came to Walmart. They did not have, like, any produce, so I'm just going to add, like, some onions, not onions, I'm sorry, some bell peppers, spinach, and tomato to my, um, pasta that's all i really like in my feta pasta and so i'm just gonna stop by the market by my house because i know they'll have it even though it'll cost an arm and a freaking leg um and just go get some tomatoes and some um spinach and bell pepper that's it and then i'll actually show you guys like how i make it and stuff like that I'm super excited so check in with you guys in about 30 minutes So this is how everything came out, y'all. It actually looks really, really good. I'm so excited to freaking eat. I already tasted the pasta, so I know it's good. But yeah, so this is just some seared lamb chops and some feta pasta. Y'all, if y'all want to do a whole like cooking, like, <laughs> um, like a cooking video, let me know because I love to cook. I'll probably come over here and make y'all some like ribs and um like some baked potatoes and baked beans, stuff like that, y'all. 
but for now this is what i am doing this is what i'm eating for dinner so yeah okay guys so i did not film a formal outro for the video but i did want to come on and revisit a few things before i actually ended the video so you guys saw me making my flashcards mostly for like my normal lab values um earlier in the video and i just kind of wanted to give you guys an update on that i was making the cardiovascular set when i was recording and i went in and redid them because they didn't quite turn out how i wanted them to um like they were crooked like i'm very particular about certain things but they were crooked but also like they didn't um turn out how i wanted them to in a way that like i didn't write them in a way that i could remember so i went in and redid them and i just started doing all of my sections of course and i color coded each section so the red was the cardiovascular so this is the new stack i just have of course the actual test an abbreviation if it goes with it and the page number and then on the back i have the normal adult findings so that one was hematocrit and that is how it looks on the back and then i did my respiratory and i only had one integumentary value so i did those in blue i did my um gastrointestinal in orange I did my endocrine in purple and today I'm going in and doing my um, genitourinary flashcards but I also went in and did my Roman numerals that I'm supposed to know it's not many um, because I mean Roman numerals really are just rules that you have to know um, and then I went in and did my equivalencies and I started doing my, I'm not even halfway done, and this is how big this stack is, but these are my abbreviation flashcards that I started making yesterday. So I'm super excited. Y'all, we are almost two weeks out from the start of the semester, and I'm excited, I'm nervous, I'm anxious, I'm happy, kind of sad that like my social life is about to decline, <laughs> but everything is all good. So, um... So that's what I went in and did, but I also wanted to show you guys what else I did. Sorry, y'all. All right. So, make sure I don't have anything crazy in there. So I went in and I've always had Quizlet, but. I went in and started making Quizlets. I'm trying to get the ring light out of there, but all right. I went in and started making started making studying stack or study stacks on Quizlet, and basically I just went in and digit is it digitized or digitalized? Whatever. I made digital flashcards for each of the flashcards that I had already made. Um, basically just because obviously sometimes I know I won't either be able to access my iPad so I have the physical flashcards. Sometimes I won't want to carry the physical flashcards so I have my iPad. Um, so I just have study sex for my lab values, my Roman numerals, and my equivalencies. And I'm about to start doing my study stacks for my common abbreviations and my do not use abbreviations. So I will actually go ahead and leave the link to my Quizlet below so that if you guys want to have something to study um you guys can look at that as well and i'm gonna link which textbook we use so that you know y'all don't blame me if y'all study the second y'all don't use the same textbook but um that's really all i have to say also we are at a hundred subscribers and it seems so small it really does i guess to other people but I don't know for me that's like a huge milestone and i am so excited and so thankful and grateful that you all decided to stick around and chill and hang out with me and follow me on this journey so thank you all so so much and of course i cannot wait to talk to you guys in the next video Bye.